Here's an updated look at my various lightning maroon clownfish fry. I had another hatch and it was quite successful. Several hundred larvae were collected. And these guys seem to be a little bit more lively than previous batches. Maybe the parents are getting the hang of things. They're just in a couple of gallons of water and as you can see it's tinted green with live phytoplankton. This batch was back to normal after the previous batch hatched a day early. This is the only time they didn't hatch exactly 11 days after the previous ones. I was actually going to bed and they noticed so I didn't collect very many and I just stuck them in this bucket but it looks like at least a few of them are in the process of going through metamorphosis. Now, there's not too many in here but we'll see what happens. The other batches are doing quite well though. In particular this one here. Uh, there's 50 something left and they all look like baby clownfish. Uh, as you can see there is some chasing and aggression but what I've done is crowd them pretty well. They're in a 10 gallon tank with maybe three or four gallons of water. Uh, I'm still trying to determine what the best way to go about them is. There's not too much maroon specific information. I actually just realized these guys actually grow slower than other clownfish. So I've gone from feeding them B1, B2 back to A and B1. The September 8th batch, there's about 18 left. These guys are noticeably bigger and a few of them have really nice patterns. Unfortunately it was difficult to get on camera here since they are still pretty small and there's all kinds of glare from the various tanks and lights in this room. There definitely is more aggression with these guys than the larger batch. They're in about 8 or 9 gallons of water and I've started adding PVC pieces for them to hide in but they don't really seem to make use of them yet. They're definitely starting to put on weight though and seem to be eating better since I've switched them back to smaller foods. For the oldest guys, I'm down to just two unfortunately. Uh, I didn't have very many to start out with, but also there was some problems with some. Originally I thought this was swim bladder related, but they actually had tiny fins so they had trouble swimming. With that being the case, I was forced to cull a few and now I've just got these two. They're in a five gallon tank and somehow they still managed to fight just the two of them. Unfortunately they look like regular white barred maroons but at least they're looking like regular baby fish. It's certainly been a learning process. I think I'm starting to get a handle on things. Hopefully in the future I will have more actual fish. As far as feeding them, my rotifer cultures are still doing well. I included a quick clip here. You can see many of the females have eggs. And you can also see their bellies are full of phytoplankton. Unfortunately, I'm really burning through my RG Complete, which is quite expensive to have shipped to me. I am culturing live phytoplankton as well here. But I haven't been able to make enough yet. With that being the case, I'm cutting back on rotifers and only culturing what I need. Now, there'll be another update soon. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is a little bit educational. Uh, I'm not saying I really know what I'm doing, but I have had moderate success and hopefully that success will continue going forward. Happy reefing.